welcome back to my modern homestead. I'm Janet. Now, I got to thinking this morning about my blog. What is my blog about? I'm thinking I'm going with the theme of the four C's. Caring, cooking, cleaning, and canning. I don't know. We might hold on to that one. We'll see. But I have another C today. I have a confession. You guys, I need to make a confession. I have a jar of pickle juice in my refrigerator. <laughs> Who keeps a jar of pickle juice in the refrigerator? I do, but I bet some of you guys do too. What do you do with your pickle juice? Today, I am using my pickle juice to make egg salad. And I just realized as I'm pulling my ingredients over here, I left one ingredient out. I also put mustard in my pickle, uh, my pickle salad. I'll make pickle salad in my egg salad. Just a second. Okay, now, I decided not to bore you in showing you the process of boiling and peeling eggs. Everybody knows. I hope you guys know how to boil eggs. If you don't, let me know and I will do a video just for you because I did start this blog for those who are very new to cooking. I try to make the steps as easy to follow as possible. So if you don't know how to boil eggs, there is no shame. Everybody starts somewhere. So if you don't know how, let me know and we'll take care of that. So all I did was added in my eggs. Now this is how I figured how many eggs I need. I normally do two eggs per sandwich. So figure out how many sandwiches you would like to make and use two eggs. Next thing we do is just chop the eggs. I love this little chopper. See, I'm telling you, everybody starts somewhere. Let me tell you guys a secret. I thought this was a biscuit cutter. This is not a biscuit cutter. Chop your vegetables for your eggs, your salad, whatever you would like. And it makes it so quick and easy. How do I know it's a chopper, you ask? Because see the scalloped edges and points? They're sharp. And it makes quick work of chopping. All right, guys. Alyssa behind the camera just said, but does it chop as well as doing it the other way? And my answer was, it does a better job. I used to do this process by a fork and it would take forever. I wouldn't make this because <laughs> I hated the process. It was just too tedious trying to mash up all these eggs with a fork. So, anyway, I'm a chopper. You'll love it. Now, I'm going to add mayonnaise. I don't measure this for this, guys. And two, this is Hellman's. We used to eat Hellman's all the time, but I like Duke's. My husband bought this to put in his truck when he goes over the road, but he never took it. So, I'm trying to clean out the refrigerator. So I'm thanking Jesus for what I got. He saw fit to bless me with it. So I'm going to be thankful I have it. I'm not going to be picky that it's not Duke's. Now let's add in a little bit of pepper. A little salt. Not measuring, just whatever looks right. That's a little less than a fourth of a teaspoon. And let's do the mustard, just a little. It's just a little flavor. Now for my favorite ingredient, the pickle juice. And I don't measure this either. I just pour in a little bit, just like that. You guys, I'm telling you, it makes all the difference in the world. I also do that for my deviled eggs, if you've seen that video. And except for the minute I turned around to grab my pepper and maybe 10 seconds of chopping that you didn't see, that is how fast it is to have a quick, easy lunch. It's done that fast. Can you believe it? I think this may be the shortest video yet. So instead of making this one video, I might make one more salad with tuna. I don't know. But I will put this on bread, 
put some hot as blue blazes pickled okra that we made a while back in there with it. Oh my goodness, guys. You could also use the pickled cauliflower that we used beside it. Use both. Yum. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time. Okay, guys, while I have my phone out recording, I just wanted to take a second to show you what we've been working on for fall. My fall decorating is a slow process. So this is not quite finished yet. I still need to get candles and maybe one or three, four, five <laughs> little pumpkins. I don't know. Whatever happens, happens. But I was watching a YouTuber this morning and she lives in a double, I mean not a double wide, but a single wide trailer, mobile home in a trailer park. And she was such an inspiration. She's a great Christian lady and she had taken her mobile home and she has made it so beautiful and she is so thankful for everything that she's gotten and it was such an inspiration you know i love my home and for my husband the greatest way to show him i appreciate everything he does for us and everything he works so hard for is to take care of it and to find joy in it so decorating is one way i try to bring a sense of warmth and love to our home so I just wanted to share with you what we're doing. This is the dining room. Now, y'all know I've been canning. I'm not quite done. Excuse our mess. Alyssa's even working on schoolwork at the moment. We're doing lunch. This area stays the same. And you guys, I don't buy every year. I keep my things because I don't have the money to keep buying new things each year. But each year I will add a piece or two here and there. Just like the turkey. He was new last year. The pumpkins and the, um, the, what do you call this? The garlands. Those were new. I bought those the other day. They were on sale for 50% off at Hobby Lobby. So I couldn't resist. Let me show you in the entryway. So here is what we have in the entryway so far. <laughs> Pardon my TV cabinet. And then up there. And once again, we add to this each year. So this is not all new. Anyway, I just thought I would give you a little sneak peek into what we've been doing. Look who I have with me in front of the camera today. My we name is Jeff. We're trying out our new tripod, so I'm going to see how this works today. When I start recording, it cuts off half of my room, so we'll make adjustments as needed. But today's Tuesday. I recorded earlier in the video, and that was from yesterday. I have a few things to get done in the house. I need to straighten up a little bit. Um, if you're new here, you might not know my husband and I own a small trucking company and he called this morning and he needs a few things printed out so I need to get that done. And then we're going to work on our next salad. Earlier you saw the egg salad. So today we're going to do to the salad, but let's get started on this first. in the wash and one in the dryer. So while we're working on that, I'm going to go ahead and get the tuna salad ready to go. And 
the kids decided to save that for supper. They want something else for lunch. So the oven's heating for that. So you'll see the cast iron out. Got our tuna drain, and we're adding it to the bowl. I did two cans. These are 12 ounce cans, and I buy the chunk light tuna or the albacore um, tuna in water. I don't use tuna in oil. Ugh, that's just yuck. So anyway, there's the tuna. I've already got the celery ribs washed. Let me rinse my hands and we'll get started. Do the celery. I just cut it into long sticks. You can make the celery in as small of a chunk, chunks, or a bigger chunk. You know what I'm saying. You do big chunks or little chunks. crunch of celery in my tuna or my chicken salad for that matter. And when I was planning on doing this, I was doing it for a lunch. So I only used two eggs. If I had known I was going to do this for a supper with a chance of my husband being home, I would have made a little bit more, but We'll just make do. We have a few leftovers in the refrigerator still. I'm on a mission not to waste leftovers. So, nobody will go hungry. little scraps of celery. Those will go to the chickens. Let's do eggs. I have two. Again, if I had known I was doing this for supper, I would have made three. But that's the beauty of cooking, guys. You can make it your own. Whatever you want to do, whatever you have, just make do with it. Thankful for it. It's a blessing. I won't complain. And yes, I chop eggs in my hands. Be careful if you do, especially if your knife is super sharp. Mama always chopped eggs in her hands. Grandmama always chopped eggs in her hands, so 
Guess it's just natural. I chop eggs in my hands. Slice it one way, flip it over. Slice it this way. This one's crumbling. And then just dice it. Let's rinse hands. dill relish. I make my own, but you can use it from the store. It'll be just fine. And the amount is totally up to you. I tend to use, this is a larger jar, but I tend to use a half pint in my tuna salad. Just drain it. You don't want it to be soupy. Just do the best you can. Just squish it out. Mm -hmm. You can always add more butter if I need it. Now this is that same mayonnaise from yesterday that I'm trying to use up. too much yesterday in the egg salad, but it was fine. So we'll start with less today. And we need salt and pepper. Have y'all seen my spice cabinet on these videos? I would be embarrassed, but I like to cook, so I can't. <laughs> to mix it up. Guys, egg salad and tuna salad are so quick. And I decided to make these because we have chickens. So that means I have eggs. <laughs> Lots of eggs and I needed to use some up. So that's why I decided to make these two meals and decided to bring y'all along with me. This is a great meal for college students, young families on a tight budget, and this pepper's about to make me sneeze. Just a second, guys. Whew, excuse me. I'm gonna add just a hair more mayonnaise, not a lot. And the amount you add, again, is totally up to you. And that's it. Now, I need to cut out some of these calories and carbs, so I'm going to eat my tuna just the way it is, but you can put it on some bread, you can toast your bread, you can add cheese. I don't like cheese on my tuna, but hey, if that's your thing, go for it. So, you guys, I am going to finish up this and get the lunch the kiddos decided on going, and we are, oh, I've got tuna on my hands, <laughs> and we are done with this part of our day. So, I appreciate you guys coming along and joining us. I hope you have a wonderful afternoon or night or morning, whatever it is, wherever you are, and until we meet again, may you be blessed.